NCP's Improvised Musical Intro. Yeah, I know my shop's a mess, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> hey everybody, it's NCP. I wanted to show you an easier way since people complain about the pencils being too hard. So, or too difficult, not hard, but difficult. So let's do it with math now uh, for a Bernal number. Just use your drill press, you know, and a scale and an ingot and a known, a known drill bit. This is 532nd. So let me get that in the chuck and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it set up here. Let me calibrate that, the scale's weight for the camera's point of view. If I just rotate it here. Oops, there. That shows zero to you. Now what I do is I'll just pull back on the drill bit or the drill press. And our would work fine, but you know this is what I got now. I ain't gonna spend 60 bucks to do one thousand. So the lead looks good. We'll pull down until we get to 60 pounds. And let me uh let me zoom back in here so I can see where 60 is from the camera's point of view. And we're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds based on the camera phone, so I'll just clip it till it starts at the minute here. Let's keep going. All right. Hold it at 60 pounds. About. I'll hold that for 30 seconds. Now remember, the, the scale is calibrated to your point of view, not, not directly ahead of it, but to the side. Now we're using the rounded drill bit. So there we go. That was 60 pounds of force for 30 seconds. So let's go over here. Let's zoom in on this. Let me just, I'll just put a picture up. Let me get a picture. But that's what it'll be. And uh, I'll talk the rest of the video on the high def picture. All right. So here we are outside on the hood of my truck with the calipers. And you'll see that the indentation was 1.25. Now, we got to convert all this over to metric for the online Brunelli hardness test. Uh, you can see that the the 60 pounds works out to 27.2 kilograms of force. You'll see that the, the um, I guess it was 530 seconds, works out to 3.96 millimeters. And the indentation was, you know, of course, 1.52. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oops. So that gives us our Bernelli hardness number of about 14 and a half, 14.4, whatever. So... I'll put links to these calculators online. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it would probably been a little more accurate if I'd actually rounded it, the drill bit. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a spare drill bit or a piece of metal, and I will glue a, a BB on there, a stainless steel BB. And uh, we'll use that for a hardness test from now on. Um, like I said, the drill press, <clears throat> I had it go up to about 150 pounds on the Harbor Freight drill press. I just wanted to see. And I figured, look, if I broke the drill press, that's fine. I'll just buy a new one. That and the Arbor was the same price. So, And I, I have in the past, I mean, I may or may not have used it to remove valve springs when I was working on my truck. <laughs> so I knew it could take the force. Um, it's probably not the best idea, but you don't test lead all the time. And everybody has the drill press pretty much. So it was just a cheap way to do it. And it's, it's not... It's not, um, it's not dependent on the angle of how you hold the pencil like the other leadness test. This is the same way. This works the same way the Lee does. It's a Bernelli hardness test. And you can use any diameter ball, any diameter, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, any, any scale, I mean, any weight. And it'll give you your indentation and all that, and it'll, it'll do all the math for you. So... There you go. It's the drill press uh, lead hardness tester. That's what we're going to call this. Testing lead. Testing your Benelli lead or something with a uh, drill press. I'll figure out the name later. But there you go, everybody. Um, this is Nuts County Pepper. Uh, please write and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get to doing some work now. And you guys have a great day. Nuts County Pepper out.